630 now on our Wednesday morning. Well, this morning, there is a way to help victims of domestic abuse exercise their right to vote safely. This morning, we are talking to YWCA leaders about how to keep their identity secret. And take a look at this gorgeous sunrise if you're not looking at your screen right now. Beautiful colors, a gorgeous day ahead. We're breaking it all down before rain and cool weather is upon us. And kindergarten students in Spokane will head to class for the first time today. We are live this morning from elementary schools to talk about the transition to full time in person instruction. Up with Krim begins now. Good morning and thanks so much for watching Up With Creme. This week, Mars is making its closest approach to Earth until 2035. And to see it, all sky watchers need to do is just look up. Mars will shine bright all month long, but last night was one of the best nights to see the planet up close. So if you capture a picture of Mars, text it to us at 509-448-2000. The next day to see the red planet closer to Earth is next Wednesday. Earlier this week, NASA captured an image of an avalanche on the planet. How oh. incredible. Something tells me though our iPhones won't get that great of a photo. <laughs> no, uh, definitely not, but very cool. You can see it with the naked eye though. I have uh, checked it out and it's it's got a red hue, so it's easy to identify amongst the other stars. Uh, but yeah, good viewing opportunity, at least for the next few days before the clouds roll in. Yeah, please send in your photos because I will probably be asleep, so. <laughs> Absolutely, of course. And Dana Marie McNichol standing by. Dana Marie, we have a few more days of some clear skies, but boy, Mother Nature is going to roll in those clouds by the weekend. <laughs> That's right, Jen. I, I, like you said, you, it's a good time to look at it right now because come Friday into Saturday, not only are we going to see clouds, but we're going to see a lot of rain. An inch of rain is coming in North Idaho, but I'm going to break that down in just a little bit. Right now, I am focusing on our forecast, 79 degrees and sunny, 80 degrees, even 84 in Yakima today. So it's going to be very warm, nine days of 70 degree plus weather. So if you're thinking, okay, I'm done with summer. I want my fall weather. It's coming. Don't worry. We're gonna have a cool down over the weekend. 50s and 60s. We're expecting 50s next week. So quite a big difference right now, though. We're looking at a beautiful mild morning. 53 degrees, 51 in Coeur d'Alene, 43 in Sandpoint and 51 in Moses Lake for our hour by hour forecast. You see a lot of sunshine, just a couple of clouds overhead. But like I said, 80 degrees and sunny for between 3 and 5 p.m. And it dips significantly to 7 p.m. I'm at 69 degrees that sunset is at 618 today. So we're losing sunlight day by day. The sun is rising later and later, but that's just the indication of winter and fall. We're talking about rain coming up, Jen. All right, Dana Marie, thank you so much. Well, today Spokane Public Schools is welcoming kindergarten students to school. It's part of a growing list of districts resuming in person instruction. And this morning, Nicole Hernandez is at Sheridan Elementary. Nicole, tell us what new safety changes students and parents can expect. Yeah, Jen, so here at Sheridan Elementary School and as well as a lot of other elementary schools throughout all of Spokane Public Schools, a lot of different things are going to be going into keeping children safe as they start that back to school process. So first up, custodians did go into the classrooms and they placed desks that are six feet apart. So throughout the classroom, students can socially distance. And then out here as well, I am standing on one dot labeled three and there are dots nicely socially distant place. We have four here and then another one even further for kids to line up as they get ready to go into school. And of course, that's a big deal because especially for this first day of school, kindergartners cannot have their parents actually walk them to the door of their classroom. So I know that's a big change for really that big first day of school step for parents and for students, but they will be um, allowing students to have socially distanced activities out here, like first day of school pictures to make it as good as possible for them, even with these changes. So we were able to speak with one Spokane Public Schools teacher here. So here's what she had to say. I think it's, I mean, that's where we want kids to be. You know that from the time we got shut down in March, we've wanted to be back in the classrooms. Of course, there is anxiety around all of the new protocols that we're gonna to have to follow. And um, there's a lot to think about, but ultimately I think that kids are gonna really benefit from being back in the classroom.
Now, as we do continue through the next few weeks, in the next two weeks, they will be starting to have students all back at the same time. But for now, students will be going back half at a time. So the first half starting today, the second half starting tomorrow. And as they go through these school days, they, uh, teachers and students will be monitoring health symptoms. So before any day starts, that those students will have to go through health uh, symptoms and, and a little procedure uh, through their parents. And then as they're in school, if teachers or staff notice that they have any symptoms, parents of course will be notified and if possible or if needed, a COVID test will be administered. Live in Spokane, I'm Nicole Hernandez. All right, Nicole, thank you so much. Well, for the latest updates about schools in eastern Washington and North Idaho, you can text schools to 509-448-2000. The world is mourning the loss of guitar legend Eddie Van Halen. We learned about Eddie's first when his son, Wolf, shared that the iconic guitarist lost his long battle with cancer, calling him the best father he could ever ask for. Van Halen was 65. And the tributes are pouring in. Black Sabbath geezer Butler called him one of the nicest down-to-earth men I've ever met and toured with a true gen. <clears throat> and Lenny Kravitz wrote, Heaven will be electric tonight. Well, let's not forget, Eddie did the guitar solo for Michael Jackson's Beat It. Story goes he recorded it in one take and for free. Didn't know that. But yeah, such an iconic rock legend that the world is definitely still mourning even today. And a, a lot of musicians emulate, you know, his style. He is just so talented. And of course, we heard a little bit of Dana Marie's favorite song there, Jump. Yeah. Jump. Yeah. <laughs> this is my favorite wedding yeah. song. <laughs> it is a good wedding song. Uh, but yeah, of course, a lot of fans, musicians, of course, idolized him and are sad about the passing of, you know, and losing such an artist for our generation. He will definitely be remembered. Of course, if you have any memories you'd like to share, you can always text us. Let us know your thoughts at uh, 509-448-2000. All right, coming up now on 638. Coming up, we are introducing you to an organization helping victims of domestic abuse vote and keep their information private from their abusers.